everybody. Yeah. You all hear me? Yeah. Excellent. I just realised halfway through that how old this is. I'm so tired. We've got lots more music to go. Um, it's very warm in here as well, isn't it? I've got some good news to go. It's lovely and cool back when you go outside. Um, first of all, um, I want to say a massive well done and congratulations um, to Dave Whistle and the amazing Wigan Jazz Orcast Extra. For, not only for their age, um, for any age, they are absolutely amazing. But when you think of their age as well, um, absolutely fantastic musicians. Let's give them a massive round.
can't be a brass band playing a march and a brass band playing a tune, and we're going to do both here this evening. Uh, fantastic players from our principal quality player, Joanne Johnson. Let's give her a <laughs> We're now going to feature our soloist for the evening, and it's a very special evening for this young man uh, because it is not only his first evening of playing solo horn with the band, it's also his first time ever doing a solo with the band. Um, Sam Watts is stud studying the tenor horn at the Royal Northern College of Music, and he's in his second year, is that right, Sam? So another two years to go. Yeah, I think that would have been another two years. Um, no pressure, Sam. Uh, he's chosen to play a beautiful piece of music um, from the film The Wizard, Wizard, Wizard of Oz. It's too hard to listen <laughs> <laughs> And it is sung by Jubilee Garland. Um, so let's welcome Sam Watts to play Over the Rainbow.
absolutely stunning playing from Sam. And uh, for his first solo ever with a band, let's give him a double match. Uh, we're now going to turn to music from the classical music repertoire, uh, originally written for um, orchestra by uh, Carl Freeman. Now, uh, Dave mentioned in the first half all the wonderful arrangers, uh, and there are so many amazing orchestral uh, pieces that have been adapted and arranged for brass band, uh, and this is really one of my favourites. Uh, it's been arranged for brass band by Dennis Wright, who's done a number of these um, overtures for brass band, adapted them from the orchestral version. So here is Dennis Wright's arrangement of Slavonic Rhapsody number two.
fantastic music and great playing from the band. Let's give them another massive round. We're now going to turn to a very famous composer for just brass bands this time. Uh, and he was the composition teacher at Salford University uh, for a long time. And he's written a number of test pieces for brass bands. Don't worry, we're not going to play a test piece. That's a piece that goes on for about 20 minutes. Yeah. And then you go to these contests and 20 bands play the same piece. That lasts for 20 years. Dump. Um, <laughs> um, so, no, Peter Graham is a fantastic uh, composer and arranger for brass bands. And he wrote a suite for the Black Dyke Mills Band. Has anyone ever heard of them? Yes. Um, not very good. <laughs> so, a fantastic band. Now, Peter Graham worked very closely with them. And he wrote a, a piece, a, a, a suite for them called Fall of the Cossacks. And we're going to play the finale from Fall of the Cossacks, play the Cossack Wedding Dance. Now, we need a little bit of audience participation for this one. So, what are you like at flapping? 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 Can we clap? Yeah? See, every audience I've ever done this with said yes. And every doing is terrible. So you're going to be the best ones, okay? So, what's meant to happen with the band is when this stick goes down, everything's meant to happen together. Now, we're getting alright today, we're getting there. So, when this stick goes down, see so if you can clap together once. Are you ready? Every time it's always the band. Okay, so halfway through, there's going to be a little bit where I need to clap along and it's going to get faster and faster and faster. Is that okay, everybody? Excellent. Here is Peter Graham's Cossack Wedding Dance. Thank you. 
Do you want to I did a concept a few months ago in Tilsley, it did a lot worse, so... <laughs> it was a good one, excellent. Uh, great play as well, so happy to you phone your play, Nick out. Let's give him another one. And now tomorrow is a very, very emotional day for everybody attached to the Pemberton organisation. Um, now, Dave mentioned um, that we have a few bands of Pemberton organisation. We actually now have four. Um, we have a beginner band, we have a youth band of around um, between 20 and 30 children, uh, we have a B band and then we have the A band behind you as well. And um, there was one person that held the organisation together. You, you always get that in a lot of organisations, don't you? There's always one person at the middle that is the glue to the organisation. And Derek Green was a member of Pemberton organisation for over 70 years. That's a long time to commit. Um, and he was so important to us all, every day he was in the band room doing something, every rehearsal, okay, that's four bands, guess what, he was at every single rehearsal, for over 70 years. Um, for people that met Derek, he's a character that you wouldn't forget, um, he, he was a great character, but one of the loveliest people you could ever meet. Now sadly Derek passed away a couple of weeks ago, uh, and this is Derek's funeral tomorrow. Um, which will be heard, held at the church next to the band room, uh, and then we'll celebrate it like in the band room afterwards. Um, now, Derek's favourite piece of music was Finlandia, and one of my biggest regrets ever was not playing that on a concert for Derek. Um, so this evening, I thought it was only right that I took, took the main theme from Finlandia. Um, so I looked around to try and find a, an arrangement of the main tune, Be Still My Soul, and, and I found this wonderful, wonderful arrangement. Um, so here is Be Still My Soul, and we'd like to dedicate this to Gary Green.
Sorry to be sorry to my uh, uh, we've now come to our final piece of what you know, we're in for the evening. You were better than that. We've come to the final piece of the evening. Oh. Unless you shout and, and scream and we, we might do one more at the end, but we'll, we'll see about that. Um, I know I mentioned at the, the beginning of our set, but I want to say it again. Um, the, the work that Dave Clissel does in, in the borough of Wigan, um, we don't realise at times what amazing musicians we have. Uh, young musicians, older musicians, I want to say old. Um, but we have some fantastic musicians, and uh, I, I think that most of those have been influenced by Dave Clissel uh, and the Wigan Music Services. So first of all, I want to give a, a massive round of, of applause and appreciation to Dave Clissel for the work he does in the world. Conductors are useless because we don't make much noise. Uh, and and David Jazz Orchestra is simply amazing. There's no other words for it, are there? No matter of their age, I said it at the beginning. Uh, it's fantastic to see so many young people enjoying music. And um, you could see in the first half that they love what they do, don't they? Um, uh, so well done to everybody in the Youth Jazz Orchestra and a special well done to our very own Grace Butcher as well. Let's give them a massive round of applause. Now, is anyone good at dancing in the audience? Yeah. Oh, I'm going for it. What about Irish, Irish dancing? Oh, you've got a job. Okay, we had auditions in the band, but they didn't know they were terrible. That's why I told them to stick and play their instruments. Uh, we now go to, to, to finish the evening a very, very famous piece of music. And it was originally used as the interval act during Eurovision 1994. Now, Eurovision wasn't so long ago, was it? Did anybody watch it? Yeah, okay. Um, and it was used as just the interval act. Uh, and it was that good that it has toured the world and, and, and been viewed by over 25 million people. Um, made, made famous by the dancing of Michael Flatley, really. Um, so if anyone wants to stand up and dance, feel free to. I'm looking at you. How many lines does she have? <laughs> Is that why you ran out of lines? Is it you? <laughs> I'll think about you over to me, dance. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, no, so everybody, before we play this next piece of music, um, concerts like this don't happen without an audience. Um, and we can't perform to NTC. So on behalf of us at Pemberton Band uh, and people at uh, the Women's Youth Jazz Orchestra as well, we want to thank you ever so much for attending this evening. So here is River Dance.
right now, who wants to not go?
I'll put it on in September how does that sound? Oh then, <laughs> then I'll just remind you all, church isn't a static place. If you can dance to this next piece, you can get up and dance. You definitely can. <laughs> and that brings us very well onto our introduction to this next piece. Now we are going to finish with a march, but we're not going to finish with any old march. This is a very special march. Um, now, John Mays conducted this band a very long time ago. He's a, a very big rap band conductor and composer. And Derek is one of those people who he touched in life, um, like everybody that walked into that band group. And John Mays wrote this march especially for Derek. So feel free to clap along, dance along, okay? Because he definitely would have. To finish that evening, here is Pemberton Green. Thank you. 